Hey everybody, Notorious here. Welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm excited to share with you a brand new knot. This knot is a collaboration between myself and another YouTuber, Vertical Feel. I'll put his username and his channel name up here. And it is called the Mirage Hitch. It is a slip hitch and it is constructed by first putting the rope around the carabiner or any piece of hardware you want and then creating a girth hitch and then putting a bite through the girth hitch. And this creates a slipped hitch and let me teach you how to tie it. So first, you're going to take your rope, feed it through the piece of hardware of your choice like a ring or anything you want and then create a girth hitch by forming a bite here and then creating a girth hitch. Then we're going to take this girth hitch, take the two parts, put it together, then form a bite like this. All right. And you'll have something that looks like this. Finally, take that bite, feed it through the openings in the girth. Now, you have created the Mirage hitch. What's interesting is that technically a girth hitch is pulled from both ends of the knot and usually a girth hitch is pulled evenly like this so you'll form the girth hitch and put it on a carabiner or whatever and it's pulled with both legs evenly like this all right and then there's also the cow hitch, which is tied using a single strand, and that is done, uh, that is only pulled from one strand. So that's the difference between a cow hitch and a girth hitch. Uh, but what's interesting about this knot is that the uh, girth hitch is technically a girth hitch, even though it's only got one strand exiting here, because you've got the other strand here being pulled in the opposite direction, all right? Now, this is a hitch, all right? And it is not meant to be used as a loop, all right? Because if you apply ring loading to it, in other words, if you tie this around something like this, like a tree, all right, then it could come undone because it would be pulling the knot in a way that is dangerous. So do not use this as a loop knot. This is a hitch, so it's meant to be pulled vertically. It's not meant to be ring loaded, okay? So let's get that out of the way. If you're wondering why it's called the Mirage hitch, it's because one minute it's there and then the next it's not. All right, so it's like a mirage. You see it, and then it disappears. Now, let me discuss one of the ways that this can be used. And this applies to rock climbers and alpinists um, who want to have a quick-release rappel that they can descend on a single strand of rope. All right, so basically SRS for a rock climber or alpinist that you can release down when you finish your rappel. So how would that work you ask? Well, let me show you. What you can do is if you have a rappel to do and you only have something like a gris gris where you can only use a single strand of rope through it. All right, this is a gris gris and it only allows one strand through it. What you can do is you can take your rope and put it through a ring 
or an ice screw or a snow picket and put it through and leave yourself a good amount of tail on this end here and then create that girth hitch all right and form that girth hitch and then put the bite through just like I already showed you all right we're gonna put that through and now what you can do is either depending on the length of your rappel you can either take the end of your rope and connect it to this pull strand here or I'm going to demonstrate it with you know if you want to do a long rappel you can use another rope to connect it to that pull strand now if you are going to use this for a rappel keep in mind that you must give yourself a lot of tail and I want you to really remember this because you need to create a bite here that is super long all right make this like two or three feet long all right but I don't have enough uh, cordage here to demonstrate that but keep in mind that in order to keep this single strand rappel safe you need to create a loop that is le that is at least two to three feet long that way if you were to accidentally pull on this a little bit it won't you know immediately pull the knot out now I will be making a video coming soon where I demonstrate how difficult it is to release this knot when a climber's weight is applied to it so what I'm going to do is film myself connected to this strand here which is the rappel strand and demonstrate how it's pretty much almost impossible to pull this out while a climber's weight is on it making it really pretty safe all right especially if you have a long loop here or long bite and so what you're going to do is keep in mind I'm demonstrating this with a small bite but you need one that's two to three feet long and I'm going to take my other rope and again you could use the end of your rope that you're using here um, but I'm going to do it with another rope to demonstrate how you would do it with a long rappel and then you can either connect it with a double fisherman bend all right that is the probably the ideal way to do it but I don't have enough length here to demonstrate that so what I'm going to show you is with a sheet bend all right and you can um, if this is a life or death death repel like a serious repel uh, you definitely want to make sure that you use a double fisherman knot all right um, a double fisherman bend rather I'm going to show it with you can also use a sheep bend um, and that's not as secure because it is prone to sometimes being released with cyclic loading but I'm going to show you anyway and what we're going to do is create that sheet bend just to demonstrate a basic um, bend that can be used and so here we go now this is actually quite secure you can see that it would take a lot of uh, if you really cinch this down it's not going to go anywhere but again I do recommend a double fisherman um, over this all right but again because of the cordage limitation we'll be using this for the demonstration so now you've created this and the next step is to take your climbing device whether it's a ATC or a Grigri and with the Grigri you would put the rope through like this all right put it in through and close it up and then take your carabiner and lock it onto your device put it on your harness close that gate and now you can repel using your Grigri alright and once you've finished your repel and you've gotten down to where you want to be you can undo this carabiner open up your Grigri or take off your ATC 
and then you just use this other strand here and you pull oops this is really you see how even just pulling it like that it just moved my table and I didn't even load it with my body weight that that tells you how strong this is so now you'll end up with something like this and then you just pull this until the knot gets down to you all right so you keep pulling it down um, and this will come off and fall down and you now have both of your ropes you've finished your descent and you're good to move on to another part of your climb so yeah this is a really cool slipped hitch that um, I've never seen anywhere else I looked exhaustively through YouTube I couldn't find it in the Ashley Book of Knots and so again this is the Mirage hitch again do not ring load this do not use it as a loop knot it's meant to be used as a slipped hitch so thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out vertical feels channel I'll link his channel in the description for this video so give him some love he's a great guy and he and I talk a lot and yeah we came up with this together so thanks so much for watching be sure to check out my channel for more hitch how to's not tutorials and climbing videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.